Last Sunday, Reverend Jackie spoke about five amazing and strong women who are part of the lineage of Jesus. And it caused me to reflect on just how many amazing and strong women there were in the Bible. Like a priestess, a queen, a judge. Quite amazing considering the patriarchal society that they lived in. Yet, in some denominations of the Christian church, women are still prohibited from having leadership roles in worship. And to those congregations, I say, you have no idea what you're missing. <laughs> so thank you, Monica. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Reverend Linda Graham. And of course, thank you, Reverend Jackie. Several amazing and strong women who are currently leading us on our faith journey. Please join me as I pray the prayer of illumination. Holy God, whether it's through angels or music, friendships or sermons, study or nature, when you speak, we long to hear it. In a world as chaotic and broken as ours, we could use your words of hope and healing. With gratitude we pray, amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from Luke chapter 1, reading verses 26 to 38, and that can be found on page 831 of the Red Pew Bibles. And this is our introduction to Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord of God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I am a virgin. The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And for this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Our next scripture reading is from the Old Testament. And it's Isaiah, chapter 11, reading verses 1 to 10. And it can be found on page 558. A shoot shall come from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge for the poor and decide with equity for the oppressed of the earth. 
He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with his breath of, of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion will feed together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, the young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks.